Welcome back AACPS staff. This is the second video in our series on using Adobe Express's new Classrooms feature. In our first video we saw how to create classes and then roster or add your students to those classes. In this video we're going to pick up with how to create an assignment and then share that with your students. Now we've actually got two different ways that we can start an assignment. So first is right here from my Adobe Express dashboard. From here I could go to the plus sign and I could start searching for the type of project, find templates. I could also go to your stuff and find things that I myself have created or down here to the templates option. All of those give me the same capabilities to add things from Adobe or things that I have created myself. So I'm going to grab a couple of things that I want to assign to my students. So here you can see I've added a couple of templates from Adobe's poster library for something we might do for a back to school activity, something like a getting to know you type of project for the students. And I'm giving them a variety of templates so that they can choose the one that most resonates with them or that most interests them in, turn, in terms of making their back to school poster. So now that I have collected up the resources that I want to give to my students, I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner of my screen and I'm going to choose the assign button. And this is going to open up my classroom assignment window. If we turn our attention to the left hand side of the window, you'll see we have a field to put in an assignment title, a field for instructions, an option to put in a due date, and then of course to choose the class that we are giving this assignment to. If we turn our attention to the right hand side of the window, you'll see we have two tabs at the top. We can add these templates. We can also add additional attachments like instructions that the students might want to follow step by step as they're creating their project. And then we have a couple of options at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and create our assignment. All right, so let's turn our attention back to those buttons in the bottom right hand corner of this window. We have the option to view the assignment as a student. What is this going to look like if I give it to my students exactly the way it is? That gives me the option to see it from their point of view and then decide if I want to continue to make changes to it, maybe change my instructions to make them a little bit clearer, so on. If, uh, if I'm happy with the way this looks, I can click the arrow to come back. And then my second option is to save this as a draft. Now, Adobe Express's classroom feature at this time does not allow you to schedule assignments to go out at a later date. And that's where saving it as a draft is a great option. If I'm creating this assignment today, but it's not actually for my students until next week, I might not want to assign it to them right now today. I might want to wait and assign it to them on Monday. Day, but I still have the time to actually do the work right now. Saving it as a draft allows you to create it when it is convenient for your schedule, save it, and only give it to the students when you are ready. And then of course our final button is the one to assign this to the students. So when you are ready for them to see the assignment and get started, you simply click assign. As soon as that process is finished, it takes me into my classrooms menu here and shows me that my assignment is live. It shows me the roster of students. I only have one student in this class, but they appear as a thumbnail here inside of this assignment with that color coding across the top that tells me if the student has not yet started the assignment returned it or the teacher has returned it to them uh, if they are in progress actively working on it or if they have turned it in and that is our blue pink green and red color coding so again you can see the red across the bottom tells me that this student has not yet started on the assignment if I click the arrow I can go back to the classroom dashboard and see all of the assignments for this class and click one more time to return to my classroom's main dashboard and see all of my classes now I mentioned at the very beginning of this video that there are two different ways to create assignments for students. Now I'm going to show you the second option that you have. So the second option is actually to navigate into the class that you want to create an assignment for before you create that assignment. So once I navigate into a class, you'll see that first thumbnail on the left is the option to create an assignment, or I have the same option in the upper right hand corner in this little condensed menu right here. So I'm going to choose create assignment. 
And from here, the window is exactly the same. If we look at the left-hand side, we have a field to put the assignment title, instructions, due date, and even to choose the class, although you'll notice it has been filled in for us because we navigated to the class before we started this process. If we turn our attention to the right-hand side, we have the same two tabs, templates and attachments. We have the same buttons across the bottom to view this as a student, save it as a draft, or assign it when we're ready. Right here in the center of this templates window, we have the option to choose our project types from the templates that are available in Adobe or to choose from our stuff. And you would click on one of those two links depending on where you want to get resources for your students. If you choose project types, you have the ability to simply give them the general idea that you're asking them to create an infographic, a poster, a presentation. So you can choose the project type. And what's great about this is when the students click to open and access the assignment, it will narrow down the templates that are available to them or filter them to exactly the project type that you chose for them. So in this case, I've chosen infographic. I choose next. And you'll see right here that we have like a placeholder image for this. And as I said, when the students click into the assignment, the templates that preload for them will be those that Adobe has for, in this case, infographics. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and give my project a title, instructions, due date, and then we'll assign this. All right, so I hope this video has helped you learn the two ways that you can create assignments by starting from your dashboard, collecting up the templates or the projects that you yourself have created in your stuff, and then using the assign button in the upper right to begin building an assignment that uses those resources, or to navigate straight into classrooms, choose the class, and then build the assignment from there. Check back in our next video where we show the process for students accessing and completing assignments.